Hello everyone, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my beautiful friends. That's right, the best community ever in my life. Anyways guys, how is everyone doing today? I see Amazon Prime is kicking butt today, that's awesome. I don't know why I'm going into announcer host speed like I did, did with, but I usually do with the patch notes because sometimes if there's a lot, I just gotta really go really, really fast and talk to you about everything that is right there. So, and breathing is just not an option when that happens. Anyways, friends, hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing great as well. Yeah, so today, weird, often talk, well, okay, what do I usually do? We talk about the videos that I dropped. The videos of the vanity store in uh, Anthem has gone, no, not Andromeda, Anthem, uh, although I am wearing my Anthem t-shirt under my chef's jacket, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, the vanity store has changed. You got a day or so left of that. Uh, let's see what else did I do? Oh yeah, the giant 300 plus patch notes that we did last night. We went over the highlights and the big important stuff in there. And then of course the whole loot 2.0 happened and and everyone, you know, not everyone, but you know, a fair amount of people on Reddit, of course, internet warriors, uh, getting all, the, getting their uh, panties in a bunch. So there's that. Like, here's my simple thing, and I will, you know, just say, Anthem, I almost said Blizzard, Bioware, there you go. Bioware, just, just let them, let it rain. You know, this should be like, you know, if they do the patch, loot starts going crazy again. Casey Hudson should just step in and go like, you know what, guys? You know what? Just just let it go. Just just leave it. Just leave it alone. It's done. Uh, so that's my only thing there. So yeah, I got some good responses. The family's still growing. I think we're maybe like 14 away from that 1100 mark. Awesome. Then 900 away from the 2000. Yes, I said I would do a giveaway for the 1000. Uh, that is still going to happen. I'm waiting on some codes for that. So, Tor, hurry up. And uh, doing that stuff right there. We got some more videos planned for uh, this evening. Going out, some Sotor videos. Uh, yeah. There's some Cyberpunk 2077 videos, right? We have some more information coming out on that. And that's about it. So, the main topic of the day is pretty much going to be my all-time... Okay, not my all-time favorite. I have a few favorite books out there. Um, one, of course, is a play by uh, William Shakespeare. I've read the crap out of it. Uh, let's see if that's okay. Okay, let's let's see if you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Let's see. Scene. Hmm. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler to suffer the slings and arrows of outrage and fortune, or to suffer the something in the waves of frack. I missed it, and that truck. Sounded like a helicopter. Anyways, I butchered it, but it's Hamlet. Uh, no, wait, hold on. Uh, to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or rise up against the sea of troubles. Ah, to drink. No, to drink. Yeah, I like to drink. Ah, to dream, to rest. Something, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, so there's that. So that is my all-time favorite. Like, I've had to buy a second copy of it because I destroyed the last one. I read it so much. Um, so there's that, old, pool, old, old York, old York, old York, my friend. What would you do for a Klondike bar? No, that's the wrong one. And my second favorite of right now, like, I love all the, the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lord of the Rings. One of my all-time favorites is, now, if you're a bookworm and you like Arthurian legend, you like medieval stuff, you like the Romans, or if you want to know, you know, where did Arthur come from? Where did this whole, the, the mythos of King Arthur. Now, King Arthur was a real person. However, as time and history go by, truth gets turned into a uh, myth and, or like to legend and legend to myth and so on and so forth. So, but standing off that, if you want to know what happened, you need to go to the original art author, Arthur and Arthur really, who came, started with, you know, really uh, going crazy in a lit literatorial literature world fashion but he was the first one and he did it from prison some five, six, seven hundred some odd years ago uh, it's uh, written by Sir Mallory and it's called Sir Mallory's Le Morte de Arthur or The Life of King Arthur or The Life of Arthur ra rather if you wanted to be translated and uh, it is pretty much and you have to get it unabridged 
in the original Old English. Now I'm talking not Old English like, Hello, my lord, thy face is thus and terry how, yes, things. Um, I'm talking when that was new. Now I'm talking like when Old English was New English. And it's like, it, it, it literally, I, I read really quickly, as you can tell some of the stuff. But with this one, it took me a month to finish because there's so much there. And it was just, yeah. <laughs> it was, a, but it was a good insight into him taking what he has heard of the actual King Arthur and then putting it into a fictional work while he was in prison. It was great times. So yeah, that was a good book. If you're a bookworm, I suggest you go get that and add it to your library. I love mine. It's my library. Uh, Beowulf is another one. Uh, since we're going in a somewhat same vein on that as well. When it comes to adventure stuff, I love uh, um, James James Rollins. He is one of my favorite Dan Brown-ish type mystery adventure uh, type novels. Uh, I, I love his work. I have all his books. I'm a big fan. He used to be a veterinarian and started writing, and now he's writing. But a lot of his uh, experience from being a veterinarian is in his books because you know there are a lot of times when you have uh, certain animals going ape crap on everything and you can definitely tell his background is influencing a lot of that but the books are really well done and I would almost say far better than Dan Brown and he doesn't beat the crap out of the Templars every single book so there's that <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, yeah. oh what else what else I already said no Chronicles of Narnia duh Lord of the Rings double duh um, let's see what else is up there. Yes, uh, it's, uh, duh. my brain's f frying on me right now. Uh, you would think I'd have more. It's having a collection of 2,400 books in my own personal collection and growing. Uh, but yeah, there's just some books right there. And, uh, what does that say? There's a sign that says, no park on this, no park this side. Arg. <laughs> So, oh, good Lord, man, those people tore up. Anyway, so, yeah, there's an estate sale over here. And uh, they uh, these people tore up people's front yards because they can't park worth crap. Yeah, baby. So, my friends, there's all that. Um, let me know in the comments, comments section below. That made no sense, but, you know, do it anyways. Uh, let me know what your favorite books are, if you like books. If not, and uh, there's there's that. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Ew, goodness knows I did. Yeah. Anyways, guys. So, yeah. Put your comments in the comment section below about whatever. I don't care. And make sure you hit that like button for, you know, algorithm reasons. And uh, hit that subscribe button as well, my friends. Let's keep this family growing. And we will see you the rest of this week with more videos. Anthem, of course. So tour, maybe some Cyberpunk 2077. Who knows? I might, do, I might do some Fallout 76. You never know. Anyways, my friends, have a good one. We'll see you later. And uh, I love you. Goodbye.